Oh, hey there, Carly. Hey, Brett. Do you know what time it is? I think it's time for DP News. Yeah, you heard her. DP News starts now. Carly Wopat, a 2010 DP alumni, is one of the top 10 nationally ranked college volleyball players in the nation. She's competing with 10 others for the top spot, and with our help, she can achieve it. Vote once daily at dpnews.org. So Carly, are there any ways that I could help some underprivileged families in the Santa Barbara area? Well, our annual canned food drive is coming up. It begins on November 12th and will end on November 25th. That sounds like a great opportunity. I challenge all of you to bring in at least one can or non-perishable item. Tomorrow at 8 a.m., University of San Francisco will be in the Career Center, followed by University of Colorado of Bo at Boulder at 11.17 and Mills College at 11.50. The Spoon River Project will be having shows this weekend and next. Friday shows are at 7 p.m. and Saturday shows are at 2 and 7 p.m. This show is unlike anything you have seen at DP, as the entire audience is sitting on the stage with the performers. There is only space for 120 people, so the tickets will sell out fast. Students, student tickets with an ID are $8 and adults are 12. You can visit the EPAC box office after school from 3 to 5 p.m. to purchase your tickets, or you can visit the box office a half hour before showtime. Check them out at the website dpnews.org. Next week, we prepare for the spring musical Mary Poppins. Auditions for Mary Poppins are on, are on November 12th and 13th from 3 to 6 p.m. in the EPAC. They're especially looking for men and parkour athletes or gymnasts. Audition instructions online at dptheatercompany.org. The Health Challenge exam applications are due tomorrow at 3 p.m. You can pick up an application outside of Mr. Woodard's office. Let me remind you that 0% of people passed this test last year, so make sure you study up and come prepared. As many of you know, last week Sam Shapiro passed away. In honor of him, the anime club will be showing his favorite movie, Blue Steel Arpeggio, tomorrow in H5. Head over and hang with his beloved friends as they remember the fond memories of Sam. We hope to see you guys there. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Brett. And I'm Carly. Now over to Heather with your sports news. Hey, DP. I'm Heather Cano of sports. Yesterday, girls tennis fought a tough battle against Calabasas in the first round of CIF at home, tying in sets 9-9 and winning a game 71-69. Sienna and Serena Applebaum secured the win as the last match on, gaining the needed games to pull the team through. Today, they are traveling to University of Irvine High for round two of Team CIFs. Good luck, girls. Cross Country is heading off to Camino Real Park and Channel League for Channel League, and Boys Water Polo is playing Ventura in our pool at 315. Come out after school to cheer on our boys. That's all I have for sports. I'm Heather. Have a dandy day, DP.